Let's talk about uh, how to build uh, a decision tree in the R software. I will use the fitness app log.csv example dataset. You can download it from this video's description section. A decision tree is a way of predicting the probability for the dependent variable to happen. It's very easy to build a decision tree in the R software. In my opinion, the more complex the analysis model is, the more advantages we can get from using the R software than using other software like Excel. In this example, I collected several independent variables such as incomes, gym visits, from which state the customer is from, how long the customer used the mobile app, as you can see, hours factor. I want to use these independent variables to predict the probability for a customer to pay for a mobile app. So in the E column, I record the pay or not. If a customer wants to pay, I mark yes. If the customer doesn't want to pay, I mark no. Let's build a decision tree to predict the probability for the customer to pay for the mobile game. Let's go to the R software. First, you need to download the example dataset into your working directory. And then let's create a variable to hold the data frame. Let's call this fitness. I want to use read.table function. The file name is fitness app log csv. SCP equals to a comma. Header equals to T. This is the data frame. The function of building a decision tree is called the R part because it's a third party function. Before we use R part, we need to start the function first. Let's type in library and then type in R part. Let's give the analysis result to a variable as well. Let's call this a tree analysis. And then we can use R part. In R part, we need to specify two parameters. The first one is the analysis model you want to build. You want to specify which one is the dependent variable, which one are independent variables. In our case, pay or not is the dependent variable. So let's type in pay or not. And then a tilde sign. Let's say in our model, we want to use incomes, gym visits, and a uh, state to predict uh, the probability for pay or not to happen. So let's type in incomes plus gym visits plus state. You can change the, uh, the independent variable to other factors as well. Let's say if you want to use incomes and hours, then you type in incomes plus hours. It's up to you to decide which independent variables you want to use. And then a comma. The second parameter is uh, called the data. Data equals to the variable that holds the data frame. It is uh, fitness in our case. So let's type in fitness. Now we already got uh, the decision tree analysis. You can take a look at the decision tree by typing in the variable. Let's see tree analysis but uh, it's not very easy to interpret the decision tree analysis usually when you use a decision tree you want to visualize the results the function of uh, visualizing the result is called uh, rpart.plot it's also a third party package so before you use it you have to download the package into your R software and then start it Let's type in install.packages and then type in rpart.plot and then you can select uh, any mirror site you like to download the package. It's ready, let's uh, start it. 
let's use library and then type in our parts dot plot visualizing the result from decision tree analysis is very simple you type in our parts dot plot parentheses and then let's type in the variable that holds the decision tree analysis result it should be tree analysis and then a comma after the comma you can type in extra equals to four this will make the analysis even easier to read and then press enter this is the decision tree analysis let's learn how to interpret a decision tree in this chart we have uh, several rectangles as you can see here one two three four five totally we have uh, five rectangles we call each rectangle a node of a decision tree n-o-d-e in each node we have uh, a yes or a no and then we have two numbers on both sides what do they mean a yes or a no indicates uh, the activity the group want to take and then the number on the left shows the probability for people in this group to take the activity the one on the right shows the probability for people to take uh, the opposite activity let me use the first node as an example to explain to you the one on the top as you can see the activity in this node is no and then 0 0.72 on the left show that uh, the probability for people to say no in this group is 72 percent 0 0.28 on the right shows the probability for people to take the opposite activity the opposite of a no is a yes so from this node you can see 28 percent of people in this group want to say yes i want to pay for the mobile app let me use the second node the node in the middle as another example in this node the activity is a yes and then the number on the left 0 0.34 shows that the probability for people in this group to say yes is 0 0.34 which is 34 percent and then the number on the right shows the probability for people to take uh, the opposite activity it is uh, 0 0.66 so the probability for people to say no in this group is 66 percent this is how you interpret the information in each node and then let's look at uh, the questions of uh, the decision tree the decision tree finally decide that incomes and the state are important questions to ask in order to classify the probability for people in different group to make a payment for the mobile app the first question the decision tree want to ask is if the customer makes uh, less than 95k a year if she does she will be classified into the node on the left side otherwise if she, the customer makes uh, more than 95k a year the customer will be classified into the node on the right side and then the decision tree will look at the second question is this customer is from the state of new york if she is she will be classified into the knot the darker blue knot otherwise she will be classified into the green knot at the end this is how a decision tree classify a customer into a different group now how can we use the decision tree to predict the probability of a customer to pay for the mobile app we need to follow the decision tree's questions ask a customer two questions do you make uh, less than 95k a year are you from uh, the state of new york let's say the customer said uh, yes i make uh, less than 95k a year then according to the decision tree she should be classified into the left knot if you look at the left knot in this group the activity this group want to take is no and uh, the probability for this group to say no is uh, 87 percent then we can predict that if a customer makes uh, less than 95k a year the probability for her to not pay for the mobile app is 87 uh, percent 
In other words, the probability for her to pay the mobile app is only 13%. Some classmates uh, may have a question. If a customer makes less than 95k a year, do we need to ask her if she's from uh, New York? No, we don't have to. According to the decision tree, if the customer makes uh, less than 95k, then we can directly predict uh, the probability for her to pay for the mobile app. According to the left knot, you can see the probability is 13%. We don't have to ask her the second question if the customer is from New York. But uh, if the customer makes uh, more than 95k a year, then we have to look at uh, the second question. Is she from the state of New York? If she said, uh, yes, I'm from uh, New York, then you can see the probability for this customer to not pay for the mobile app is uh, 0.89. In other words, the probability for this customer to make a payment is 11%. So in the future, if we have a customer, she makes uh, more than 95K, she's from uh, New York, then we can predict the probability for this customer to pay for the mobile app is about uh, 11%. If the customer said, uh, I make uh, more than 95K, but uh, I'm uh, from other states, I'm not from New York, I'm from other states. According to the decision tree, she should be classified into the not on the very right side. If you look at this group, the probability for this group to make a payment is 10%. Then we can make a conclusion that the probability for this customer to make a payment is 10%. This is how you interpret the results and use decision tree to predict the probability for something to happen.